Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ryan and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. Matilda of Flanders, Commander Spotlight. Is there actually something to talk about her, like a gatherer? Well, let's find out in this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Commander Spotlight and today is going to be Matilda of Flanders we just had her into the game like a couple of days ago and it's time to actually upgrade her skill she's an epic so we have plenty of materials to actually get her up my plan is to also bring her to six star because this is one of my alt accounts and he has a bunch load of experience why is the reason I'm actually bringing her to 60 is the reason because I actually got a little bit hyped looking on her skills and I actually seen a pretty decent synergy with one of the other commanders and in my mind was actually thinking about it I said listen it might actually have a utility she, she's not gonna be actually that useless after all so let's go into it let's see what we can find about her Matilda of Flanders her primary skill direct damage factor pretty weak reducing the enemy attack 15% is next to nothing the gathering one stone food and wood she doesn't have gold and she doesn't have like all kind of gathering so we can probably use her for gems right i mean that could be a very interesting commander because she also has 10 percent additional resources once you obtain her expertise that's pretty nice i do have to say that her expertise is really amazing for a gatherer i mean don't get me wrong not for fuel battles and this is the skills that that i'm very hyped about is the Mora siege unit health bonus up to 30% and siege unit defense bonus up to 30%. That's 60 stats on siege. That's pretty significant. After that, you have her four skill, which is troops capacity bonus up to 15%. It does reduce your attack by 20%, which is a bit of a bummer, but 15% troops capacity on a secondary in command. I mean, you can use this commander for reinforcing. You can go like Dragon Lancer and Matilda. You can go like Double C and Matilda and you just take like 340,000 troops really fast somewhere. Or when you gather, you just get like additional 10% resources. It's really nothing wrong in her, but this is not what I want to check about her. So what I want to try, unfortunately, on this account, I don't have Siondiok so high, it's just 555. Five, five. I actually wish I had Siondiok uh, with her third skill close to max, preferably max. I mean, her expertise doesn't really matter. It's just additional resources and load bonus. But I wanted the third to be maxed because this is the synergy that I want to test. Siege unit defense, 30% and siege unit health bonus, 30%. That's 60% defense and 60% health just by utilizing these two commanders on the same march. Will this work on rallies with siege? No, hell no. <laughs> Don't think about those kind of things or garrison. Nah. She might have defense time tree, but she's not gonna be a garrison commander. I wanna test her out in tiles. Like, literally, putting Matilda first and putting Sandyok uh, second and just testing her out in tiles. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get Siendok and unlock her four skill. I don't have enough sculptures to upgrade anything, but even on fourth is 500 damage factor. And after that, when she's ready, I'm just gonna put her in a tile and I'm just gonna attack with my main. <laughs> so I'm gonna test some Attila, I'm gonna test some Belisarius, maybe some double Cs as well. Test some marches that people are actually going hunting, like T4 versus T4, so T4 siege uh, versus T4 troops, and actually see if, if that actually works. Because, like I said, I was a little bit hyped when I actually saw that 30 health and 30 defense because of Siondiak. Let's not wait any longer. Let me get Siondiak real quick. I didn't even know I have so many stars on my alt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 5551 five, five, Siondiok. I don't actually care about the talents on Siondiok. Siondiok is going to be a second in command. So when troops led by this commander contains only siege units, that's definitely what we're going to have. Deals direct damage factor, 1400, and siege units defense and health. Because everyone is actually thinking about, you know, keeping siege and just trying to trap those farm killers and, and so on. People have tried with Siondok and Cleopatra because Cleopatra has siege units, attack and defense, 50 and 50%, which again is 100% stats, <laughs> yeah, just from uh, one skill, but it didn't work. I'm saying mainly because there was not enough damage on Cleopatra and Matilda might just bring that enough damage. So let's find out. <laughs>
60. Matilda of Flanders. A gathering commander. How about that? How many people can say that? <laughs> Is there a lot to talk about her? Like, equipment only works from the primary commander and stuff like that. No, there isn't. Uh, this is stuff that you should all, all know being an epic is gonna be very easy to actually upgrade her and max her out so you shouldn't have any problems maximizing her skills you notice how many epics i have so this is pretty much what everyone has at some point you shouldn't make any problems upgrading her now let's get her talents up because she has defense and gathering will i put points in gathering definitely because my plan is for her to use on gathering that's the plan to kind of make a trap with siege when Arle by this commander has been reduced less than 50% strength increased defense of siege so I like that now let's see how far I'm gonna be able to get with the point so you want to get the gathering part done when troops led by this commander are in battle, decrease the numbers of severely wounded units by 6%. These units will instead be slightly wounded. I like that one as well, especially if I want to build some kind of a trap like I'm trying to build. But I just want to make sure that I'll have enough points to put on defense that I plan to. I like this sort of formation as well. You also get some mar speed. And since it's going to be your, your siege, you kind of want some smart mar speed as well modify axle it's again pretty nice medicinal supply i was thinking to be something to go with as well but that's a lot of points and i only have 38 and you have fresh recruits that's another three percent capacity because you also have the 15 percent capacity yeah a lot of things that you can actually go a lot of things that you can play around if you want to build this as a trap but as a general gathering, how you can build her, I'm going to make this not on the primary, on the separate. So this is going to be like a, a general gathering. And we've got three more points in no weaknesses. So this would be like a general gathering type of talent build if you get her to 60. So you also have the maximum mobility or the maximum march speed. And at the same time, to actually get some protection from the defense talent tree. That's kind of the whole idea. Get some skill damage reduction if you plan to use her with full siege. Now I'm going to build the talent tree that I actually wanted with the siege to actually put her on the gathering point. I'm going to see if this is a bad idea, like healing. <laughs> Might have most severely wounded because I'm actually healing, but we will see. Might just be good or not. If not, then it might be just be the, the pseudo formation on the other side and just hope that you'll reduce more damage. So this is going to be the time tree that I'm going to test. I'm also going to put the gathering equipment on her that I have on. Uh, so that's going to be more siege attack and more siege stuff. And look at that integration. I don't have trinkets. And I'm not going to put trinkets like the scholars lucky coin. Come on. All right. So I'm back on my main account and it's time to actually do some testing. I also scouted and this is what i have on my alt account i'm using 30,000 t5 siege because i don't have 240,000 tier 4 siege so let's say that the hunter which is me legend ronnie is noob <laughs> he doesn't know about anything he's a freaking farm killer boo hoo hoo farm killer look at him 568 million kills by just killing farms who and i'm going with tier 4 because any farm killer would most likely go with tier 4 so he can get value and actually get kills move fast and i just want to try a tilata keda as a side note unfortunately there's nothing i can do i have the five percent ten percent troops attack this is resource production so it's nothing pretty important i used to try to combat this 10 percent attack i use a 10 percent health rune uh, on my out and I was a 5% attack because I'm also VIP 17 on my main anyway I'm, I'm trying to balance a little bit I mean this is not like a real test this is just some test all right so I got the rune I got 10% health rune so let's go ahead and let's see <laughs> how the siege will do okay they're doing pretty bad I mean that's the reality so that was some damage that was 1700 from Sundiok so far they are pretty holding their own but still Attila is pretty strong 1700 that was Siondiok I'm definitely gonna win this it's Attila I mean uh, come on you're going legendary against epics but still it's so far it's very interesting it's definitely super interesting with the defense talent tree I mean this siege might just have a utility like just trapping people you have to use Siondiok on a tile otherwise it won't work so this is very, very important that you want to keep in mind. Siondok doesn't work if you don't keep her on a tile. And I'm going to retreat because I don't want to know 
what big hospital bill I got on my <laughs> alt. Let's see the battle report. Oh boy, <laughs> I demolished him. <laughs> 15,000 versus 35,000. I did put all my gathering equipment on Matilda to actually pump up the stats as much as possible. And still, look at that. Oh, the raiding troops. That's pretty interesting. And I healed more than until Ataketa. So let's look at the troops buff. Where is the siege? Holy moly, look at the defense and health. <laughs> <laughs> is off the charts 146 defense and 101 health how am i looking on my calves oh he's putting my calves to shame with that amount of defense and health <laughs> on matilda <laughs> how about that all right so i decided to change the game a little bit let's say that the farm killer is actually a very advanced farm killer and he actually has double c max he actually has genghis max and you know he goes to kill farms like a pro with double C and Genghis, almost max mobility and all that. I do have a little bit of equipment on double C, nothing super crazy, just some equipment to be there. So let's see if this is going to work or if the siege is going to defend. Done a change because I don't have T4 <laughs> siege on my alt anymore. And instead of just putting a lot of T5, I put tier three. I used what I have. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually getting those. That's crazy. <laughs> I demolished him a little bit with Attila Takeda. Alright, so far I'm, I'm doing quite a lot of damage. I mean, more normal attack damage than I was expecting. But I'm also doing to the calves. Oh, look at that. 1,400, 2,000, 3,000. That's not a big nuke from Genghis. Alright, 1,400. Whoa. 2,600 from... Uh, I think I'm gonna defend this. Are you kidding me? And imagine that I didn't use Belisarius because I said, listen, Belisarius might just be too weak for this level. I'm gonna go double C and uh, and Genghis, right? Like <laughs> some real farm killers. I mean, the double nukes are real on Genghis. I do have to say this. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to check the report, but I think I'm definitely gonna beat my alt, probably because of the tier three. I don't know, but it's looking good so far. And my sand deck is not max, so that would have been a little bit more damage, considering that I'm using max legendary. They both went on yellow on the same time. I'm gonna leave this a little bit longer. So I scouted, I'm at 110. And 135. I think the siege is gonna win on this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm beating cows with siege. I need to change my profession. Cows are getting beaten by siege. <laughs> oh my god. Are you for real? If I get on red first, then I'm gonna retreat. Holy moly, scrappy holy. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, so power wise and severely wounded wise, um, it was equal, but I would say that the siege hold their own. Anybody can disagree with that? So looking, considering that I went with two max legendary VIP 17 and okay, equipment against siege. This was a win for the siege. Okay, so I put Wuzetan in there with uh, Matilda as a second in command, I put the gathering equipment on my Wuzetian that I had so I could boost the siege even more. It is a little bit more T5 siege this time because I didn't even have tier 3. Alright, 1300. I think the garrison talents is not working, that's the problem. Because right now I have the, the garrison talents on war. I didn't put the field battles because I think the resource point is not considered a, a garrison or a stronghold or something like that. And this is not a garrison situation, like I said. And I put the specific talent tree and Tlata Keda on my wall probably if there would be in a garrison situation would be more defensive capabilities all right let's see yeah definitely it went pretty bad this is 13,500 versus 29,000 that definitely went pretty bad and this is 15,000 to 35,000 that was Matilda and Siandiot this is a 20,000 difference and this is a 16,000 difference it definitely needs to be tested in a proper garrison where garrison talents will actually work because I also believe that a lot of uh, skills from Wu Zetian is also not working even though she's max you never know but in a flag situation 25% of the troops go to the hospital and if we kind of diminish the things and the difference Wu Zetian and Matilda might just work against Attila and Takeda it needs more testing it's not that bad as I was hoping for. I'm gonna keep this in my mind. Wuzetian and Matilda. <laughs> if I find a way to utilize the siege, I will definitely do it. Right, yo, that's pretty much about it, this video and that's pretty much about this, uh, this testing <laughs> regarding Matilda. That's what I wanted to try out. You never know, as, as much as people laughed, 
when uh, she actually came into the game that a gatherer and ha 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 if you put your mind to it you might just find useful things regarding every single commander until next time this is a body journey signing off peace out tell and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there Thank you.